Hi, morning to you lads. My name is Assassin, and we are playing some more of the quarry, and the cutscene just happened again, or Max. Oh yeah, by the way, anyone who didn't watch the last episode, I don't know why you're here. But, um, uh, thank you for being here, first of all. Um, Max is now a werewolf. So, yeah, the cutscene triggered again, and... Let's check. Okay, I think all this is the same, right? Is she gonna say something different? Let me just really sit and think about my life. Damn. Max is a werewolf. My eye is gone. And this situation is fucked! <laughs> uh, not going to sleep quite yet. Maxi Moo, honey. Um. They can't kill everyone. Oh yeah, the bathroom. Can we check that? I get this is like a memory. Those reflections. <laughs> uh, but maybe there's a car kid around somewhere. Of course it's boarded up. Why the fuck wouldn't it be? What's he hiding? Demons. 100%. I've been saying it this entire game. Which people are probably hate me for. But it's demons. <laughs> Try this werewolf, but I like saying demons. Yeah! <laughs> You thought you were gonna catch me lacking. No, 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 no. I caught you lacking. Locked. Figures. And I guess I can't leave Max. Better keep snooping, or I could go back to my cell and wait, I guess. Love how she doesn't have a problem with the, no the fucking noises at this point. She's just like... Yeah, yeah, it's just a, a norm, normal fucking Tuesday. Fuck. I'm gonna need to rest soon. No, you don't. Sleep is for the week, as I say. But Laura, remember, it doesn't kill you, it makes you stronger. <laughs> I get sleep right now. Huh. What do you say? Mama's boy. I can't read. 56. That means he was born in 1965. Quick match. Not really, just kind of slow. <laughs> uh, 56, huh? Where did, the, where did the time go? Uh, You're a good boy. I can't read that. Thomas? That's definitely not Thomas. As you can tell, I'm not good at reading cursive. <laughs> Happy birthday, love mom. Oh, that's sweet. Oh, wait. I just realized it said show text. Oh, my God. Travis. Thomas Travis. Pretty close. Yeah. Everyone that's called Travis is, like, angrily typing in the comment section right now. Hey, it's naturally always totally different. Okay. Okay. Oh, why are, this is giving me Resident Evil vibes. Wait, there has to be a gun somewhere, right? Oh, that's what this I must to. be what he used to knock me out. <laughs> I can hide this in my cell. Yeah, that's a good idea. I need to lie down. 
Uh, uh, Ashley, I swear if you don't shut up. Alright, you don't have to knock you out again. Full moon. The moon! Birthday beers. July 7th. I could use a beer right now, even though I'm not the age, the legal age of drinking. I'm 20, not 21. There's something right there. Is that really all in this room? I thought I saw a person standing right there, which is kind of creepy. What I think? Wait. Lettuce in this room, did it? Before? No, this is a birthday room. Maybe it was the room next to it. Because I feel like I skipped one door. Yeah, this one. Because it didn't pop up, so I didn't think you could go in here. Why did I hear footsteps? Oh, that's still mine. I don't think those are mine. And you wanna stay here with me? If so... Oh, it's a bag. Whoever was wearing this can't be doing too well. The old sheriff's badge is barely... Fire damage does it, does it belong to the current sheriff or one of his predecessors? Really? That's it? Maybe it is for footsteps. I don't know. I just don't like it. Those home flights, I just. I don't like it. What? No. Oh my god, I hate this. Yes, I guess I turn the camera again. I have exhausted this and myself. I need to sleep. What are you, an old lady, or? I think we visited this one. Max, if you don't shut up! What are you hiding, Travis? A letter instructing those behind the bizarre yet bona fide podcast stop investigating Hackett's for <laughs> So they. No. So they know something. To the bizarre yet bona fide, it has come to my attention that you recent, recently released an episode of your podcast that features the town of Northfield and more specifically Hackett's Quarry. Oh, so I can't scroll. Um, if I am to understand the context correctly, said episode investigates the mystery of a ghost in the woods. Though the very idea of this is completely preposterous, and as I'm sure you are aware, no such thing exists. Uh, yeah, that's what you think. I am writing, or is that cover up, or... Okay, I am writing to tell you the, the properties of Hackers Quarry have expressed concern that such unsavory stories can be, could be detrimental to various business avenues, including Hackers Quarry Summer Camp, which prides itself on being safe. The founder of children. 
all over the country. It is with this in mind that I ask you to take down this episode of your podcast and refrain from releasing any further unsolicited. Max, I swear to fucking God, shut up. Publicity uh, around Hackett's quarry, the proprietor of the said land, would not be against sneaking legal action if you do not comply with their request. <laughs> Please accept this letter as a formal request with the benefit of both parties in mind. Respectfully yours, Travis Hackett, Sheriff, North Kill Police Department, North Kill, Upstate New York. Okay. That's a lot of missing people. Anne Radcliffe and Edward Benson. Wonder who they are. I've seen that one more time. Now. Um, can I see four months on hikers still missing? Hikers missing. I've seen hiking for a lot of I feel. In the hacker trail. The show, freak show goes up in flames, dead was killed, and fire a travel show. Missing cats. Ah, oh, Sasha Digweed. Suspected kidnapping illegal seeds. Of stolen animals and North Kill suspected do not buy any animals without correct personal work and contact police immediately. Versus having an influence. Okay. But yeah. I know I've said a lot. And I don't mean to, like, I don't mean to compare this game to Resident Evil a lot, but it really is like it. Uh, more like Resident. Uh, what was it? Resident Evil 2 Remake? The one with uh, Claire and Leon? The phone is that <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Freaky pizza. Delivery place. Now some I'm ordering from them. <laughs> Just like, oh well. Anyone it? No? Shit. Are you sure? Not so much a hint as a slap in the face. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Hey, you heard that shit. We gotta shut it down. Can you handle it for me? Chris? Ghost hunters went in search of Anthony. An episode of Supernatural Investigation Podcast Bizarre Yet Bonafide Exploring the Mysteries Around the Hag of Hackers Quarry. Or around the Hag of Hackers Quarry. And fell victim to the mercy of the Hag of Hackers Quarry, never to be seen again. Like us. Except for the fell victim to the mercy of the blah 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 part. Mm -hmm. we're, we're more like um, ghost investigators. Spectre sleuths? Sure. So, what happened next? Well, according to reports from the local paper, the North Kill Gazette, some hay bales caught fire during the opening night, and that spread pretty quickly. Before they knew it, the whole place was up in smoke, including the show's leading lady and her alleged baby. <laughs> She's like, sorry lady, you can't listen to that. You can't hear that. That's my secret. Ah! 
I'm sorry, I got a fight. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta check my search history. I gotta make sure I deleted it. <laughs> oh, I can show the text. Yeah, that was Chris. Okay. Okay. Did that chair just move or am I just tripping balls? Wouldn't be the craziest thing to have in now, but that's for sure. That was a weird camera transition. It was just a boosh. Okay, Max, I get it. Fuck. I'll get you your fucking chew toy for fuck's sake. Just calm down. Yeah, that was the bathroom. We went in there. Bandage us. Good, our eye. And now we go to sleep. Hmm. Fuck all this wolf shit. I'm tired. See you in the morning, wolf Max. You wanted to tell me what happened? I could ask you the same thing. I don't know if I'd be safe sleeping in a cell with a werewolf right next to me. Why didn't you run? On the other side. Uh... Why didn't you run? Huh? I won't leave Max. This doesn't mean I trust you. I don't care. I just want to help him. Turn around, hands against the wall. Seriously? That's what I, I was about to say. argue. Me too. <laughs> he just starts giving you a massage. You would let you're a little tense, you know. Well, see so you made yourself at home. <laughs> That's what you used to knock me out with, isn't it? This is dangerous. Could you not have used that on Max last night? Maybe I'd still have two good eyes. Yes. Yes, but it's really fucking hard to do. I mean, couldn't you just do it when he was in his human form and then you get knocked out and... Doesn't seem that hard to be honest. I mean, yeah, the needles only hurt a bit, but unless he has to be in his werewolf form for What's you to this? do it, then yeah, that makes an education. Watch. He's like, your old Uncle Hackett is gonna tell you his first story of how he took out a werewolf. And kill him. Hell, partner. Nice job soup? cleaning up. The eye. I mean. It's Thanks. harder than they make out in the textbooks. Especially when nobody's helping you. Hmm. You're the doctor. Uh, animal doctor. And no... I'm not, and I probably never will be stuck in here forever. You know, just because you know, doesn't mean you know. You know? Exactly. Uh, 
What? <laughs> I'm not. This isn't what it seems to be. You're gonna have to be more specific. You and Max are in just as much trouble as I am. My family? We didn't mean to hurt anybody. We're just trying to survive like everybody else. Do you understand? Not really. He's like, fuck, how do I explain this to your dumb little stinky all. brain? We? You got a problem yeah. with that? <laughs> so, how is your family involved? My family is down at the bottom of a well. What? What? Family is the most important thing in the world. But if your whole family, you know, like every last one of them decided to jump down the bottom of a well and they're all just hanging on the end of a rope, how can one person be expected to pull them all back out? You can't. So you pull on that rope and you're just gonna fall right down to the bottom of the well with the rest of them. And what's the point of that? Right, so you... You're the one at the top <laughs> of the well with a rope? And... Yes. I thought that was obvious. Yeah, okay, yeah, I got it. Just forget it. I can't forget it now. So that's his old family, werewolves, and they all jumped down the well, and now they're in their human form, and they're stuck down there. <laughs> Let's see how smart you really are. Well, mister, I'm actually very What's stupid. This? Information. <clears throat> well, what does it mean? Words. Read it. When full the moon above shines first, the beast internal shall outward burst. One by one leads lambs to slaughter. It stalks your breath, but shuns clear water. And should you yourself be cursed, armed with silver and the first, when moon is full before its wane, rend the beast that cursed you slain. No longer shall you face your blight or fear the dread of full moon's light. Yeah. Keep reading. What is that gonna do? And if it's a bite with which you're faced, cleave limb from torso with great haste. Perchance you'll save your cursed soul before infection takes its toll. Starting to get the picture. It's not a lot to go on. And frankly, it's shit. Why did they have to make it rhyme? I don't know. <laughs> but it's all we have to go on. Kill the werewolf that bit you and you'll be cured. It has to be silver, has to be full moon. Seems pretty straightforward to me. If you can kill the werewolf, and that's a big if. I just want to cure Max. It's not as straightforward as you think. <laughs> really? It's not? I just gonna end this through. Fuck, Max. Are you really worth it? <laughs> If you knew all this, why didn't you just kill it in the storm shelter when you had the chance? It's not so. I'm. I'm I was when it's I straightforward. No, yeah, it's so not. You, 
Hmm. They're not so easy to hit. I was trying to protect you two. <laughs> so what's the plan? Well, that's where I'm hoping you'll come in. Me? Yeah. Because your studies. I haven't even started. Well, you're the best option I got. I've been hunting this damn white wolf under the full moon so long I start to think it doesn't exist, you know? Maybe it doesn't matter, because maybe there's another way. Whatever you believe, there's got to be some science. And you do science. Look. Actually, Take do I want to do quantum physics? So, yeah, that's fine. I'll be back in the morning. I've... Seen enough? I don't think I'd believe a word he just said if I hadn't. If I hadn't seen that. <laughs> Sorry about your eye, Laura. I believe him. You can't tell me you really trust that guy now. <laughs> I didn't say that. I said I believe him about the werewolf stuff, not the science bit. I don't know what he wants. He's a dirty line kidnapping cop, Laura. We should be careful of anything that fucker says. <laughs> well, fuck him. He's had his chance to fix this. Just grab a we giant dildo and it's like. <laughs> Laura? Yeah? I saw what happened. What I did to your eye? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Is it bad? Yeah, it's pretty bad. I'm so sorry. It wasn't you. I know it wasn't you. I know. But it was. We're gonna fix you, Max. I promise. I promise. Kaboo, you can't fix my eye. I'm sorry, Max. You fucked that up. said you scrapped an abandoned car. A while back, I, I worked out the rest. Shit. Why? Well, why'd you think, Chris? Jesus, Travis. You're still here? That's fucked up. Fucking get one of them, Chris. What's that supposed to do? What was that? <laughs> you shot me. I'm telling mom. Thank you, lucky stars. It wasn't silver. What's your plan? You can't keep them here forever. I'm handling it. Maybe if you'd done your job, they wouldn't have been at the camp that night. You ever think of that? If I'd have done my job, you'd all be in prison. You ever think of that? That was all Bobby and Caleb. Are those know. hikers? And that, that, that fucking... <laughs> it's like, you, you shot me? I didn't tell you, Mom, and you're not gonna be able to play on the face, baby. Whatever happened to... We're all in this together. Shit, man. <clears throat> Let's go to my office. 
shouldn't talk here. Max! Uh. Max! Uh. Yeah, just start what yelling immediately. Travis was just in the hall talking, the cop. So? With Chris Hackett. Was he here to let us out? No. <laughs> He's the <clears throat> werewolf, Max. Chris Hackett is the one that bit you down on the storm shelter. <laughs> Holy shit, that's... Who would have guessed? I mean, I guess, thinking about it, I could have... And yet you did it. It mm -hmm. all makes sense. That's why Chris's car was at the lodge that night. Travis was protecting him. That's why he followed us, and that's why he didn't kill the werewolf in the storm shelter, because it was his fucking brother. God, it's so obvious. If, if, if Chris was the one that bit me, then... Yeah, then that's our cure. That's how we fix you. Jesus, Laura, are we thinking the same thing? Mm -hmm. Tomorrow we're getting out of here. I'm gonna get Travis's gun and kill Chris Hackett. Hey! Hey! Help her! Laura needs help! Laura! Laura, are you okay? God damn it. What's going on? Laura! Mm. Mm. Ah, my gun! No touchy! Give me the keys. You don't have to do this. I'm sorry, but I do. Let's just talk about it. You had your chance to talk. Keys. I gotta kill your brother. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Fuck. Don't try anything silly. He just has a spare on him, just like you really think it was gonna be that. Yeah, you had it in you. Yeah, you did. <sighs> Come on. Laura, please think about what you're doing. Hmm. You're not so tough. You didn't even do anything. You shouldn't Why be talking shit. Think about why you're in here. <laughs> Sorry. I feel like I kind of had to. We should grab our stuff. We need silver ammo. He must have some around here. Oh what is it? <laughs> I thought I heard someone. Something was here. No, I, I still can't. It's coming from behind that door. Oh, he can hear too. Spells bad idea, but uh. 
There's nobody in here. What the fuck? He makes them. What is it? Shotgun shells. He loads them with silver. That's where he was last month, hunting. Well, I guess I won't be needing this anymore. <laughs> no, I'd still hold it. Hey, I just realized something. We're free. <laughs> Not exactly. I mean, we're still in prison. Hell yeah, we are. That's two months we'll never get back, but for now, we're one step closer to going home. And when is that? Tonight. Going to Hackett's quarry, and we're killing yeah. Chris Hackett. And I made my way here to camp. Left Max at the island. Seemed like the best place for him, surrounded by water and all. That's it. That's yeah, the story. Him. And I'll jump in at the same time. Wait. The island? Like like our island? Like the one in the lake? Yeah, why? Because Jacob, he went back there looking for Emma and he hasn't come back yet. Not of them has. Oh shit. Well, if they were there, they're not there now. What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> Don't make me spell it out for you. I've just come back from there and there's one werewolf and no people. Oh, fuck. All I know is I have to do this. I have to kill Chris Hackett before it's too late. After you saw me at the pool, after I shot <laughs> Chris, um, I went back to the island expecting Max to be back to normal. Is not normal. I don't. Probably still a werewolf. I Damn, I look like a sexy hot badass. I took the other path. Max? Max! Fast. 
Ah, loser, you can't touch me. I'm in the water, bitch. Jump, I dare you. So the werewolf I killed can't have been Chris. That wasn't a werewolf. It was Kaylee Kaylee Hackett, Chris's daughter. Whatever I shot, that was no girl. Uh, unless, I, I guess, it turned back after I shot it when I went to the island. Wait, so how come Max Chris? didn't kill you? I want to see He you. tried. I got away. I need to end this. Jesus Christ. We don't have much time. I hate Ryan so much. <laughs> Is that the hag? No, I don't think so. Smell good, don't it? <laughs> Go on. Take a bath. Go on. <laughs> Dumb fucking animal. <laughs> It's hillbillies because, like, in every situation like this, specifically zombie, that's too Bobby. Zombie situations, there's always a hillbilly that likes messing around with the fucking zombies. Hey, 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 where are you going? <laughs> hey, hey. <sighs> Jacob, you're probably fucked. Careful what you wish for. more bear traps. I found one card. Nosy there. little rat, aren't you? Poking your nose where it doesn't belong. Don't believe everything you hear. Anyway, here we are again. Let's see what you've brought me this time, shall we? There's whispers in my ear. Was that there before? The chariot. At the reins of a chariot, we would all feel safer. It's taking control, relying on determination to make our choices. Valiant, but in some cases foolish. Many seek refuge in chariots, but perhaps in some cases I can't they're make not as safe as we think they are. 
<laughs> ah, the world. <laughs> Often travelers' paths are direct, but sometimes it is not so simple. Sometimes they are intertwined with others. Compassion over anger. You will need friends where you're going. It's not until we fall into the belly of the beast that we realize how perilous things can be. And the same question as always. Will you let me show you more? So... She said always poking around, so I feel like she's the hag of Hackett Tori. And when we were as Lara and we were on the computer. And like she hacked everything so we couldn't see the thing. That was like her trying to tell us like, hey, don't snoop into my stuff about my son or whatever. Chariot or world? Only one future can be seen. Choose. Right. I'm gonna go with the world this time because looks cooler. Ryan, Emma, Ryan. Ryan gets pulled down. You'll be seeing me a few more times before <laughs> the night's over. I look forward to that. You know, that kind of makes as me happy, but in the game, it makes me sad because right I'm trying path. to keep people alive still. Even though there's no point because Emma and Abigail are already dead. <laughs> chapter 7, we're on chapter 8. Where is Chris Hackett? Shut up. Wow, rude. Guys, she murdered Kaylee. We have been over this. <laughs> Caitlin, what do I do? Oh, wow, real strong showing on the leadership front. I said shut up! <sighs> oh, no way, I am not getting involved. This is all you, buddy. Look, just think about everything that's happened tonight, okay? That's all I'll say. Hold up, you, you said you heard a woman crying when you escaped? Why? What do you know? <laughs> yep, the hag. Just reminds me of a local story I know. The hag of Hackett's quarry. A woman in the woods. They say that she died years ago, and now she sort of roams the darkness, waiting for her lost boy. These guys hate it when I talk about it. You've seen her. No, I don't know, but I heard this thing back at the police station, a, a podcast. The Zarya Bonafide? Yeah, that's it. It looks like Travis was keeping an eye on it. Why? Maybe it's more than a story. Look, all I can tell you for sure is that whatever's happening at Hackett's Quarry runs deeper than you know. I'm just gonna go right ahead and take that back from you there. Yes, yeah, stupid. So, come on. Where does Chris Hackett live? When he's not at camp, I mean. Jesus Christ, these are all dick options. Ryan, I fucking hate you. <laughs> what makes you think I know that? Uh, you guys are counselors, right? You've spent the last two months here? He's not in the storm shelter. I'm clearly getting nowhere hunting him in the woods. I need a place to start. I think that spooky house behind these woods. Dude! What? Listen, there could be another way. 
Have you thought about that? I've spent the last month thinking about nothing else. Look, when the sun comes up, I am stuck until the next full moon. So is Max, so is anyone else he's yeah. been. How is that our problem? Why don't you ask your friends in the woods? And don't forget about Nick, dude. Yeah, here he is. Okay, any clothes are going to spray you to with cold water. Ryan, let's just get out of here. I'm running out of time. If I can't find Chris Hackett, then a lot more people are going to get hurt. I'm going with you. What? what? Uh, yeah, what they said. I'm gonna show you that Chris Hackett has nothing to do with this. He wanted us to stay inside tonight. He wanted us safe. I don't care what you oh think. Oh my god, he I'm said that so you wouldn't get eaten by where Shut you up. fucking idiot. Fine, do whatever you oh want. Oh my god. You saw what happened to Nick. He was bitten. Everything's gonna be fine. That cop car you stole. Where is it? Ditched in the lake. Why? It was a stolen cop car. You're gonna have to try it and fix the minivan. Get somewhere safe. How long do you have? An hour or two? I don't know. It doesn't seem like an exact science. Then we better get going. Once I see at, or what's what I call it, Chris, I'm putting a shotgun shell right in between his eyes. Are you I sure don't this is the right way? I'm doing this for Abigail and Emma. Sure. Yeah. Fucking bullshit. Pretty, pretty, or definitely. What do I look like? A tour guide? This doesn't feel right. I think you're up to something. <laughs> I'm not. You better not just be running out the clock. I'm not. The longer we're out here, the longer we're in danger. Somebody murderer? You know, it might be a lot more pleasant if you lighten up a little. What is wrong with you? What's wrong with you? I've had kind of a fucked up summer. Yeah, well, doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Oh my fucking. Oh, what's that supposed to mean? I don't know. I, you're still alive, I guess. Nobody else needs to get hurt. An eye for an eye makes the whole world blind. Oh my god. No offense. Ryan, I'm shut not doing up. This for revenge. I need to save Max. You're doing all of this for a boy? What am I supposed to do? Just leave him like this? I owe it to him. Like I said. Kind of a fucked up summer. Damn. There it is. Back your house. So he lives in some redneck mansion with his redneck family in the ass crack of the woods? Look at this place. No, but it's where his mom lives, I think. Never been there. But if we're looking for answers, it's probably the best place to start. So, uh, wait, how do we get there? What do you mean? How do we get to the house? Oh. That's a really good question. Maybe we just don't. <laughs> Fucking Laura's like, I swear to God, I'm gonna put a shotgun shell in you, and you're not even a werewolf. I understand Chris is your friend. If there was another way, I'd tell you. Sure. Yeah. Laura. 
Chris is a good man. This isn't about good and evil, Brian. Just how can you be so certain? If I let my conscience slow me down now, everything gets a lot worse for everyone. Believe me, if there's another way, I'm all for it. Hey, where are you going? You're on the timer, remember? Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Another way across somewhere. This is where you have to pull down. I got you. Careful, it's gonna go. I didn't even stop it, man. Oh, shit! Are you okay? Laura? Ah, uh, the water. It stocks your breath, but shuns clear water. Oh my god, Laura! Jesus, Mary and Jazz Hands. What? Here's a thought. What are you doing? Relax. Look. What big eyes you have, Grandma. No shit. Yeah, but that means she's turning into a werewolf. You see yellow in my eyes? Define yellow. She's kind of pretty how as a werewolf, time? I'm not gonna... <laughs> She's beautiful. Okay, um, I think that's where I'm gonna end off this episode. I got a shotgun, I got a dumbass Ryan, I got some water, and I got werewolf in me. Um, I'm a werewolf now, or I'm turning into a werewolf. And we still haven't found Max, um, or cured Max, I mean, we found him, he tried killing us, and, you know, um, but yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy, uh, if you did, don't forget to PUNCH THAT LIKE BUTTON IN THE FACE LIKE A PIRATE, also don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and um, me and, uh, Lara, and that guy will- <laughs> Chris, that's Chris, Ryan will see you guys in the next video.